G'day everyone, as we're now almost at the end of the season, we've gone through and we've picked our top 10 bats for the season. So we've gone through and looked at them all and we picked them based on performance, on value for money, on style, really happy with them. So let's get right into it and we'll start with number 10. At number 10, we have got the CA plus 12,000. Always a winner, CA always makes great bats for us. Fantastic bat. Awesome willow, nice and clean, nice and straight, but as you can see, a nice great shape. A little bit of concaving in these ones, but a nice high spine, uh, great pickups, fantastic, fantastic bats. Uh, nice and bright, nice and colourful, so someone looking for um, something that looks um, pretty pretty out there, definitely one to, to come and have a look at. And it's this one's in at number 10. Coming in at number nine is the New Balance Burn Plus. So second time the Burn has made the list. Uh, we're really happy with, with these bats. They're nice and light, designed to be nice, nice and light. Great shapes in these. Again, you get that little bit of concaving, but a nice high spine. Uh, they've got that slightly difference where they've got the, the shorter the shorter blade, but that longer handle, so it makes them really light, gives them an excellent, excellent pickup. Cool uh, graphics on these ones as well. So uh, the Burn Plus in at nine. Coming in at number eight is the SS Master 8000. Fantastic bats. These ones, beautiful shape, nice and big. Uh, slightly lower profile in these ones, so uh, great for those guys that tend to uh, play them off the front foot. But obviously, as you can see, a nice big edge, beautiful big spine there. Fantastic bats, great performance in these ones. Uh, SS make fantastic bats. So the SS Master 8000 in at number eight. In at number seven is the Kookaburra Surge Pro 1000. These bats have been fantastic. Fant awesome value for money in these. The performance out of this for the price is extraordinary. They've been tremendously light, uh, but again, you still get some nice size out of it. Uh, again, that lower sort of middle, a bit of decent size edge, but these come ready to go. So they come sleeve, they come toe guard. These have been an absolute winner. And that's why it is in at number seven. In at number six is the Grey Nichols Giant. Uh, now this is obviously designed for a particular type of player because they, they are, as the name suggests, a giant bat. So they're a big, massive lump of wood, uh, generally over three pounds. So they're only for, for the, the guy that likes to hit them big and doesn't like to run. As you can see, massive from shoulder all the way down to toe. But for the price, unbelievable performance in these. They've been fantastic. And for a bat that is heavy, they do pick up reasonably light. So that's also a winner. So the Giant in at number six. In at number five is a bat that we're obviously very proud of, the King Sport Big Mondi. Now as the name suggests, it's designed to be a slightly bigger and heavier bat, but these have come through extraordinarily well. The graining on all of these has been fantastic. The pickup and the performance, outstanding. So again, Nice big solid bat, nice big profile down low, good size toe there as well. Um, definitely one to check out. We love the stickers and uh, this one is in at number five. So coming in at number four, the Kookaburra Ghost Pro Light. So a bat we get made exclusively for us here at, at Kingsgrove uh, by Kookaburra. Uh, the second year we've had this and again, it's proven to be an absolute winner. Uh, superb value, great performance come ready to play, so they're sleeved, they're toed. Awesome shape, nice and light, pickup's fantastic, slightly higher middle than that, so great for all round play. Little bit of concaving on them to keep that weight down, but still a nice, nice big edge, and also then those super cool, nice white Ghost graphics, uh, which have proved to be really popular. So the Ghost Pro Light, in at number four. In at number three, the Gunnamore Haze 808. Fantastic bat. These ones, so again, they're designed with that slightly different uh, shape, with that slightly shorter blade, the longer handle, giving that still that, that overall size of a short handle bat. Uh, absolute winners, these ones. Beautiful grains, nice and clean, ready to play, sleeved, toe guarded. Great shape, nice all round shape, but again, nice big high spine, good size edges. Again, designed to be uh, quite light, so they are uh, fantastic. Good size handle, fantastic pickups on these ones. So Gunnamore have come out with an absolute winner. Awesome graphics too uh, on the labels. So the Hayes 808 in at number three. In at number two, again, another bat that we're obviously very proud of, the King Sport Immortal. Been brilliant this year. Fantastic 
bats, beautiful performance, grains on these, uh, fantastic. Great shape, big where you need it, nice high spine, good size edge, pickups have been superb. Um, obviously, we're really happy with the graphics on these. The gold and the white really comes up super strong. So the King Sport Immortal in at number two. So now in at number one, a pick of the bat of the season. Uh, it's used by one of the best players in the world. He's been out here uh, so far this summer doing a great job. And it is, of course, the MRF Genius Brand Edition. It's been around for a long time. It's it's still the test of time. It's obviously been used by Tendulkar before, and now obviously Virat Kohli, who is the best batsman in the world. Uh, and you can see why there's a great, great bats. Beautiful shape, nice big highs uh, spine in them, nice and full, not too much concave, and great size edges. You've obviously got that the iconic MRF labels, uh, which have not changed since uh, the beginning. Fantastic bats, performance in these are obviously outstanding. Uh, and this is why we've chosen the MRF Genius Grand Edition as our number one bat for the season. So there you have it. They are our picks for the top 10 bats of the season. But we want to know what you think. Uh, make sure you comment down below. Obviously, if you like, like the video, subscribe as well. Uh, plenty of great content on our YouTube channel. You can catch our podcasts on there as well. But definitely let us know also through our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.